Hi, welcome to Glenarchy, the Valley of the Rock. I'm Juliet and I'll be your guide today. Here we are in the middle room. As you know, to make Scotch whisky, we need three ingredients, water, malted barley, and yeast. The water comes from the top of Ben Rinnes, uh, and it'll travel two miles down to the distillery. The malted barley will buy locally from local molsters. It needs to be grind through this Portus mill here. So 9.4 tons of malted barley will be grind every day. It will be grinding with 20% husk, 70% of middle or guest, and 10% of flour. And this is to get access to the starch. So this mill here dates back to 1967. This is the original mill from the distillery. So follow me through to the other room where we'll take the grist into the grist hopper for the next stage of the process. The next stage of the process is mashing. And mashing, we're going to mix the grist, the 9.4 tons of grist, with hot water. We use four different waters, which are hotter and hotter. Start at 65.5 for the first water, then 82 degrees, 90 degrees and 95 degrees. But we will only collect the first two waters and this is 42,500 liters of wort. And here we have converted the starch into fermentable sugar. So we've got this nice, sweet, sugary liquid called wort. After that, we need to go into the next stage, which is fermentation. So here are our washbacks for the next stage of the whiskey making process. And here we're going to ferment. We're going to add the third ingredient, the yeast. We'll add 250 liters of liquid yeast to the 42,500 liters of wort. The yeast will start eating the sugar, producing carbon dioxide and alcohol. And here we ferment for 163 hours. So this is a full week of fermentation, which is very, very long. Uh, we'll develop alcohol, but we will also develop flavors esters. So it'll make up for a complex uh, and more estery wash. The wash at the end of the process will be about 9% ABV. We've got a strong beer, but we now need to distill. And the heart of the distillation happened in this room here, our still room. So four stills working in pairs. We will get the 42,500 liters of wash from next door and we're going to distill twice. The first distillation happened in the wash still here. We'll distill, the vapor of alcohol will come up and be condensed into our horizontal condenser, put back into liquid, into low wines at about 22% alcohol. Not quite enough for us, so we distill a second time. And that's what happened in this still here. The still number two, the spirit still. But here we're only going to take the heart of the second distillation. The head, four shots, or the tail, or feints, are impure. Head being too strong, the tail being too weak. And that we will put aside, so we collect the heart between 74% ABV down to 62.5%. That equates to about 5 1,500 litres to 6,000 litres of new spirit. But we don't discard the head and the tail, the four shots and the faint. We'll mix it up with the next lot of low wine 
to be distilled again. So that's where the cut will happen. We've got different balls, different recipients, where here we will collect the fins, so head and tail, and the spirit on this side. And in this bowl here, you will collect the low wine, so the result of the first distillation. So once we get our new spirit, we'll have to put it through, through pipe to our new filling store, and it will be filled into oak cask, and then laid to mature for a minimum of three years. Here we are in the cask compound, and as you can see, we've got a great number of casks. Um, you can see some Oloroso sherry cask, we have Pedro Jimenez at the back, uh, some ex bourbon cask, virgin oak, uh, and STR just right at the back. So, extensive range of cask, different type of ex content wine cask, virgin oak, uh, sherry cask, we talked about, but also different type of of oak and we'll go and have a look. We've got different virgin oak, very, very interesting. So guys are rolling the cask here. Uh, we are a working distillery. Always been kept busy. So yeah, very interesting casks here. Uh, French oak and further away we have the Ukrainian oak and I believe at the back it's Hungarian oak as well. So all virgin oak and we'll use them uh, either as single cask or as a, an oak series or as part of our core range as well. And then as you can see over there, we have some sherry, but much bigger cask. So different size will interact differently with Glenamaki whiskey. So let's have a look in the filling store uh, and see what the guys are doing. As you can see, the guys here are filling casks. So new spirit once a week will be put into vat number one and filled into oak cask for a minimum of three years. Glenarchy, we tend to age much longer than that, but legally three years minimum. So oak cask and either ex bourbon, ex sherry, virgin oak, again, a variety of different casks depending on what we want to do. So one of our warehouses uh, where we'll leave the whiskey to mature, uh, to slumber for many, many years. Again, different type of cask, and we own between 40 and 50,000 casks of Glenarchy. And now we're in the bar where I think we deserve a dram. So nice selection of some of our core range. And you know that with Glenarchy, your whiskey is always in good hands. <laughs> 